Hey YouTube viewers! Now I know, don't get mad at me. I've been gone for like a minute, cause, well, let me explain. I mean, it's, I've just been working a lot, and I've had like a couple trips I had taken, you know. So I've been really busy, and just, I'm just gonna put it out there, cause you know what? I'm telling the world, cause I love my boo. I got engaged. <laughs> so, that's definitely big reason why I've been kind of distracted because you know I've had a lot of things I had to take care of but let me get started um first and foremost it's officially been technically a year like in August I think August the 6th I totally forgot when I come here I know it was in August between July and August because July I did like part of the big chop and then in August I did the full big chop so it's basically been a year since I went natural so this is how it's looking like right now. It's actually pretty good. I've actually done a lot to my hair. Um, I do make a separate video, but I colored my hair twice. Um, first one was like this, it was like a reddish type of brown looking thing, but um, I didn't use bleach, so it didn't really show its true color. And then I went jet blue black, which is what you see now, but it's kind of faded, so you can't really see the blue like you used to. You can see it in the sun, but... Like I said, it'll be a separate video, but for right now, I am going to show you all the products I've been using because, honestly, a lot has changed since, well, the, the past few months, honestly. Like, I've changed a whole lot of products because some things just weren't working and it's just, I wasn't feeling it. So, let me get started. For, like, my conditioners, I actually started uh, out with the Aussie Moist conditioner because I heard a lot about it and I was like, you know what? Why not try it? Because it's like five bucks for this big old thing right here versus me paying out the wazoo for a small little container of conditioner. Even though it's high quality, I don't get enough for my buck and I'm that type of person I like to shop smart. So, yeah. It works pretty good and it smells good. It reminds me of, oh my gosh, some type of candy. Let's see. I like, I want to say like between Starburst and like... Skittles, in my personal opinion. <laughs> and then I actually went to TJ Maxx and found this big, beautiful Giovanni leave-in, con well not leave-in conditioner, uh, hydrating conditioner. And I only paid like twelve ninety nine for it, which was a, a deal. So I was like, you know what, let me try this out. I haven't got the shampoo yet. I need to try it out just to see how it is. But with this, a little does go a long way because honestly... This conditioner to me kind of lathers up a little bit, so I have to be careful how I put it, because if not, it would just stick to one spot, and it would start foaming up, and I'm like, no, let's kind of spread it through my hair so that each strand is coated, okay? <laughs> but it works really good, and it's awesome at detangling. And then for shampoos, I remember I had this, what was that shampoo in my previous video that I was using? And it said non sulfates, but honestly, it felt like there was sulfates in there because it made my hair feel like it was stripped. And then after a while, I just I did not like the shampoo. Plus, kind of smelled a little earthy, and I like some earthy smells, but that kind of smelled a little funky in my personal opinion. So I went to TJ Maxx again, and I ran across this bad boy, the Macadamia Natural Oil Rejuvenating Shampoo, which is sulfate free, color safe, and paraben free. And since I dyed my hair, you know, I need something color safe. Like, absolutely. And it was only 15 bucks, Which, at another uh, place, you probably pay like 30 bucks for this. So, I was making a deal. Because I know they have the um, mask and everything. I didn't see it in there. But, honestly, if they have a TJ Maxx, I'm going to snatch it. Because I went to just a grocery store. And they were selling, like, the uh, macadamia mask. And it said about, like... $32, I want to say, for like this much, I'm just not, I'm not touching that, okay? I'd rather make my own mask, which I actually have been doing. I try to do it as often as I can. Uh, I'll use avocado, I'll use mayonnaise, a little bit of my conditioner, like Aussie Moist in it, uh, grapeseed oil, and I think that's it. And I leave it on my hair for like, 30 to 45 minutes and that definitely helps with the whole shine of my hair as you can see so I try to do that as often as I can and for co-washing I honestly stopped using regular conditioner 
because I had suffered from buildup on the scalp really badly. Like, I found myself having to shampoo instead of once a month, sometimes once a week because, like, one time I was co-washing my hair and I went to part my hair, you know, to do twist. I looked at my scalp. There was something gunk on it, so when I t try to look like I could scrape it off, it literally laid my hair flat like it was gel. And that was build up. That is nasty, okay? So, I know they say not to shampoo your hair that much because we have natural hair. I have to, because I can't deal with itchy scalp and dirty scalp. That's just nasty all together, okay? So, that's why I use a very nice uh, shampoo that's kind of... You know, sulfate free, that's very mild. So I don't have that issue. And then for co-wash, I actually went and got an actual co-wash co-wash by, um, was it? Carol's Daughter. Yes. Carol's Daughter. I'm trying to clean this off because the top of it looks real nasty. <laughs> like, so, ew. Because it's like all like looking like crusty. And this little part here. Never leave it open. I did that. But I'm um, using Carol's Daughter's uh, co-wash. And it's actually pretty good. It's just the price, man. I think it was $27 for like 8.5 fluid ounces. Try not to use too much of this, you know. Try to spread it as much as I can so that I don't have to pay too much for it. Because it's like, I'm very, I guess, price conscious about some of the stuff that I buy. Which is funny, but <laughs> okay. Um, but anyways, for my gel, I still use Eco Styler gel. Instead of getting the um, olive oil, I got this Eco Professional, I want to say is. I can't tell you what it is because literally the lettering started smearing off and then every time I touch it, you get it on my hands. Like, I'll probably never buy this one again because the fact is this gets to my nerves when I have to touch it because I gel it on my edges or like the side of my hair and I get blue stuff on my hands. So I'll just go back to the regular one or I'll try another one. To me, gel is gel as long as it doesn't have alcohol in it. So. And for moisturizers, I still use my Shea Moisture Curly Hansen Smoothie. Old Faithful. Old Faithful. And my Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioner. This isn't bad. I like that it's water-based. So it's not really heavy on the hair. And it smells good. But I know, apparently, when my hair is wet, Mixing Cantu products with Eco Styler Gel does not work. It leaves these weird little white, white little balls in my hair. And then it's frustrating to deal with because I can't comb it out and then I have to wash my hair to get it out. So I know Cantu and Eco don't mix at all. So that's a no-no. And then I use a curling cream, honestly, for when I do my twist outs. It's the Cantu Shea Butters Coconut Curling Cream. Actually pretty good. I like it. it smells... Mm, smells really good. I wish to show you the inside of this, but there's like curly hair in it. I know I don't have a little person that doesn't have that problem because it's, you know, your hair just gets caught in it and it's just like, you don't want to show it because it looks kind of gross, but it's life, you know? It's straight up life. And for like the tool that I use to detangle my hair, I tried to uh, finger detangle, but honestly, I've been getting annoyed. So I just grab a rake, like either this rake that's broken pay that no mind or the regular I'm sure y'all seen these combs we grew up on these combs <laughs> but I use like this side and this side the most and then when I want to pick my roots I just take this part and just like you know just kind of pick it out like that to get the fullness that I have and for combs I kind of use this I don't even know where this comb came from but this type of comb I try to use this to detang my hair sometimes and then towards the ends, when you're trying to like twirl your hair, I kind of use these as gently as possible. And then I still kind of use this one for my ends also. And this is the part of my hair, mainly, you know, to get the part. Because I don't, I don't know why, but I like curved parts. I don't like straight parts. Always been that way for years. But yeah, those are my tools. And a uh, soft bristle brush when I want to kind of brush my edges. I don't use it often, so it's like I kind of use my edges when I'm trying to like, go in here with gel and stuff, or a toothbrush. Uh, yeah, I mainly use toothbrush. I barely use this, honestly, now that I think about it. And for anybody who wants to know what's on my lips, I have Prestige 
waterproof liner in wine. It's all small. <laughs> it looks kind of purple on the outsides. And then Dollhouse Pink by Wet n Wild. This looks purple on screen right now. I don't know why, but it just looks purple. But oh well. And for lip gloss, I have my Old Faithful. Oh my goodness, I love this one. The Wet n Wild Mega Slick Gloss in the color... Oh, Bronzeberry. I can't see it. I'm sure you can't even see that. Like, you can't even focus in it. No. Can't nobody see that. Bronzeberry. But, um, yes. I'm actually going to come out with a picture video. Instead of just, you know, like I always do, put the, uh, pictures towards the end of the video. But it's a lot. So I'd rather show you the beginning to where I am now. And the styles that I've tried. Like, one of my most favorite styles is the Mohawk. I remember watching a video by... Oh gosh, her name Marley something. I cannot remember it to save my life. But like, um, she did this mohawk and I was like, oh gosh, I want to do that. My hair's too short. But honestly, my hair wasn't short. Too short to do it. So I'm definitely going to do that. Plus, I have, no have another video coming up on how I style my hair like this. Because I haven't done a style video since my hair was short. Like, that much. So I want to show you how I style my hair to get it like this. So everybody kind of knows and they can give somebody like an idea of how they want to style the hair. So, in saying that, that is all I have to say right now. I will see you guys later. Bye!